All right, we live. All right, uh, Shabbat Shalom Wong. We're the GMS Louisiana Saints. Come at you uh, with another Shabbat lesson, live lesson. Now, before we get started, we're going to give our praises to Yahweh. By the bonds to the apostles and elders of GMS, who we learned this truth from, and peace and blessings to the whole elect that's doing the will of Yahweh by Shemel Shai in faith, fear, and sincerity. All right. Now, this uh, Shabbat lesson, we're going to go into uh, the mercies of the Lord. All right. And how we should uh, take an advantage of it and appreciate it. All right. And you, I'm, we just go uh, get a couple of scriptures, but know what I'm just saying. All right. You go ahead. First, three, three, seven. This, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. But by the grace of the Most High, I am what I am. Hey, that's right. Start right there. Say, you say, yeah, by the grace of the Most High, I am what I am. And this is uh, Apostle Paul speaking. All right. Basically, Apostle Paul was saying, hey, do uh, do the grace, do the mercies of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Hey, he, he was preaching the word. All right. Doing the work. And it go for us as well. Hey, we are, we are in this truth because they do the mercies of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. All right. So. And even that, like even thinking about that, we, we shouldn't be proud of ourselves having that pride just because we know a couple of precepts or breakdowns. All right. In the day, knowing precepts and knowing breakdowns ain't gonna give us deliver out of this place. All right, it's due the mercies of your house by We're gonna be delivered. All right. Uh, keep going up. God. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all, but not I. Oh, I got to reread uh, the second line against the lucky. Reread. Okay. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. Exactly. Hey, this grace will bestow upon us is not in vain. I brought this up. All right. While we uh fighting to obtain salvation, hey, we, we pray to Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Hey, he cast, now, cast us now away from his Holy Spirit. All right. Because, hey. Like Scripture say, hey, it'd be better if we have not known the truth, then, hey, we have it, then the Lord just take the spirit from us. All right? So that's why, hey, this will, we got to pray for the, the mercies of Yahweh by Shemar Shah. We, we can stay in this thing until the end. All right? Keep going out. I got a precept for you, too. There you go. Hey, break it down. Okay, okay. Real quick. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4. I'll read verse 7. I'll, I'll, I'll start at verse 6. And these things, brethren, I have in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sakes, that ye might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, that no one of you be puffed up for one against another. And in that First uh, Corinthians 10, it was the Apostle Paul speaking, talking about how it was through the grace of the Most High that he was allowed to have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And in First Corinthians chapter 4, really chapter 3, you had some debate among the brethren over uh, who was greater, pretty much, who was doing more, Paul or Apollos. But what Apostle Paul was saying, look, it's it's not through Paul or, or Apollos, it's through the will of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shad, that we've got this knowledge to pass on unto you. And with that being the case, as it says, that no one of you be puffed up for one against another, verse 7, for who maketh thee to differ from another? And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Hey, everything we've got, our ability to break down these scriptures, go out onto the highways and byways, and just know that our know that we're Israelites, or even know what the true names of the Most High and the Son are, or through the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, through His grace, we didn't go into this book by ourselves and, and, and figure it out by ourselves. And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now, if thou didst receive it, why dost thou glory as if thou didst not receive it? getting puffed up thinking that you you this great this this one man army in the scriptures that you you did everything yourself you rose up israel by yourself you you, you have all this knowledge wisdom and understanding by yourself etc etc and we've seen many a dudes come in and and our our elder bros elders apostles everybody through the years you've seen many people come in with that that uh mentality that they they knew it all and that they were the star of the show but more often than not, if they didn't humble themselves, what happened to them? They became a bug out reprobate. And if you look at a lot of them now, just completely out of the truth, back in the world, a, 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 a reprobate nigga like they were before they had the grace to, to get a, some of the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shad. And that could easily happen 
to anybody out here, anybody on this screen, anybody, but we pray through the grace of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that we endure until the end and don't get fucked out. I got one real fast for you. This is uh, Sirach chapter 3, verse 18. It says, The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. What did what did uh what did Yahweh Shai say when all the apostles, when all the disciples were asked him, who is the greatest among us? And Yahweh Shai said that the least amongst you is the greatest. It's pretty much saying, hey, the brother that's the most the, the humblest is the greatest among you. And all of us should strive to be as humble as we possibly can. As the brother brought out in Sarat, the greater you are, the more humble yourself. You may have uh you may be stronger in some areas than other brothers. But hey, that doesn't mean you just hold a cloud over this brother's head. And when this brother may not be strong in that particular area, you're just constantly poking jabs at him and just trying to show how how great and, and magnificent you are. Yeah, I, I, see, I wanted to back up the other two. Hey, that's the spirit that the other had brought out because I was thinking about that precept. Say, hey, say, hey, great thy are, the humble thyself. All right, because hey. As we go in the truth, the end day, we're supposed to humble ourselves. They just do the mercies of Yahweh by Shema And then, at the end of the day, the Lord could have gave that to anybody. This gift of faith to anybody, man. And then, uh, anytime, any day, hey, in, the Lord could take it away from us. Like the brother Kaya always say, hey, we could be in the truth today, and then tomorrow we bugged out. All right? All right, they got, they got a little more. They actually got a little more than that thing. I'm going to read it over. Uh, Sirach chapter 3 verse 18 says the greater thou art the more humble thyself and thou shalt find favor before the Lord many are in high place and of renown but mysteries are revealed unto the meek for the for the power of the Lord is great and he is honored of the lowly See, yeah that's right eh? he is honored and the Lord honored the lowly the one that's a the uh, lowly and um, that knows that, hey, it's through the mercies of Yahweh, through his mercies that, hey, we be, we're able to do this righteous works that we're doing. All right? Uh, you can uh, continue out right in that uh, first, first Corinthians. I got, first you, I got to something too. Bro. Oh, you go ahead. Salaki, you go ahead, Kaya. You break it down. Uh, this Psalms chapter 90, the point is in uh, 15, really all is good. 9 and 14, it says, uh, I mean, 13. Return, O Yahweh, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Yeah, that's right. Hey, that's that's perfect precept right there. He said, hey, satisfy us early with thy mercies. All right, that we able to rejoice and be glad all our days. Meaning, hey, may uh Lord continue to have that mercy upon us to, to well like hey, we be uh obtain the salvation. All right, have that then a uh be um exempt from these upcoming judgments that's coming to pass. That's about to mm -hmm. come, all right. Yeah, just to add to you too, uh, because that early, you know, is uh synonymous with B times, all right, because we need mercy, you know, prior, you know. To, that's why the Lord, we need the Lord to constantly order our steps. But and, and prior to ordering our steps, He have to have mercy come before it, man. All right, that we may that we may rejoice in our steps towards Him, because our steps towards Him is our days, is our goings, man, is our walking into salvation. So we need mercy to mark the path to salvation, man. At least we gonna be what, like you say, man, we gonna be uh. We're gonna be uh pretty much consumed, man. All right. That's just that's just what it is. So it says that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. So while we walking down salvation, man, mercy half to guide us. All right. There's no other trail away to salvation except it be by mercy. You got it. See, that's right. Back now, what you're saying, that mercy of, of the Lord had to be upon us. Unless uh, what we doing is it pain. Come. All right. Uh, that's it. Oh, you go. If that's it, you go finish that precept, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the point. Okay, this is back in First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse ten. And His grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of the Most High, which was with me. 
Yeah, so basically, yeah, Apostle Paul said, hey, even though he was laboring, he was more diligent than anybody that was doing the work. He said, hey, he, he gave credit to uh, Yahweh Bashim Shai and his mercies that he was doing what he was doing. And go for us as well. Hey, do everything we're doing, do the will of doing, the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai, we got to give credit to his mercies they have upon us that we're able to do the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai. All right? Uh, now, Lamentations, yeah, you get that Lamentations out. Coming. It's the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 22. It is of Yahweh's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. That's right. Hey, while the mercy of the Lord, hey, man, we, we through. We finished. All right? We, we'll be bugged out in our minds, man, every day. If we if it's not for the mercies of Yahweh by Shemar Shai. All right? You keep going. Uh, verse 23. Come they are new every morning. Great is thy yeah. faithfulness. Yeah, that's right. Hey, the Lord got to renew our mercy daily. All right? Because, hey, you know, we always, we go off in this wicked flesh, we go off. All right? And, hey, even now, like, we realize, hey, man, we bugged out sometimes. All right? So, hey, man, we, we need the Lord to renew our mercy daily so we, we uh, obtain salvation, like I say, like I always say. All right? I don't got one to back that for you. Now you go ahead. You break it down. God, that's the book of Titus, chapter 3. I'm going to start at 3. The point is in 5. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. And this is talking about when we were in the world before we came into the knowledge of who we are and how we're supposed to walk. Verse 4. But after that, the kindness and love of the Most High, our Savior, toward man appeared, which is Yahweh Shai, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. So without that renewal of the Holy Spirit and, and the regeneration, which goes into reincarnation, coming back here, getting a chance in the third and fourth generation to, to correct the mistakes we made. And it says not by works of righteousness, which we have done, you know, being uh, high minded, puffed up of things that you did yesterday or last week or things you did in the truth, not even realizing that you're, you're filthy, everything you did in the world, things you've done in, in previous generations. It says, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. You got it? Yeah, that's right. Hey, even hey, man, do all like, the, like brother, brother, Titus 3, hey, that all the stuff we did in our past lives, even on this life, we commit sins worried to death, and the Lord still have mercy upon us. The, to help the well, hey, we can do what's pleasing unto his sight. All right. Okay, I got mm -hmm. one. You go ahead, I got I got actually got probably got possibly got two, but go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to make a quick point. Hey, reincarnation only exists because of mercy. Okay. Right. It's the only way it exists. <laughs> just let that resonate. The only way you can come back and and actually carry out your judgment is because the Lord sought mercy. Like it was, it was only because of the Lord's mercy, man. You're back in the flesh trying to get it right again, man. Okay. <laughs> that was the okay. Lord's mercy on us, man. That's right. Go ahead. Just real quick, yeah. like what if what if the Lord didn't have mercy on Adam? Just yeah. like, you know, we would not. Yeah, we'd, we'd be done, all of us. Yeah. Solomon, right. Yeah. right. I got two of them real fast. This is the first one is Psalms 106 and 40. It says, Therefore, was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he ahorted his own inheritance. It says, and he gave them into the hands of the heathen, and they and they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them. And they were brought into rejection under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their afflictions when he heard their cry, and he remembered of them, he remembered for them his covenant and repented according to and according to the multitudes of their mercy, of his mercies. It says he made them also to be pity, pity, pity of all those that carried them 
uh, carried them into captivity, basically, man. You know, and that's and that's also uh, mercy having a chance to actually start all over again to have our own kingdom, right? To 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 allow his son to be the sac sac sacrificial lamb. That's all mercies, man, because he didn't have to do that. All right, and this particular scripture always bring it out. This is this shows it too, man. This shows a of a. Uh, it shows a great bit of mercy for the Lord's the Lord had for his people. All right. This is uh uh <clears throat> Ezra in the Bible, chapter nine, verse thirteen. It says, And after yeah. all this, it says, After all that has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespasses, all right, seeing that our our power, Yahweh, has punished us less than our iniquities deserve. Has given us such deliverance as this. You got it up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's the spirit you brought that priest about too, Elder. Again, but hey, even while like we dealing with this, uh, we we suffering for our sins. We in the lowest state. Then with the curses according to uh, Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight. In these times, hey, the Lord instead of having mercy for us, like we deserve death. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, even with that, hey, it's just to show you that, hey, man. The law of mercy is everything to us, man. They're supposed to appreciate it. All right. Yeah, he allowing our enemies to reign over us is mercy. All right. Think about it. Did not he set them up for correction of us? So that's that's part of the law of mercy. I know Jake could say, well, they how oh, that's mercy, man. They're oppressing us. All right. Oppression is mercy. Because the law could just always just kill kill us off. You don't have to preserve us for correction or that we may correct and remember ourselves to allow us to remember ourselves in our captivity. That was mercy. And we just go on and on. When you start to look, everything that they're pretty much coming out of the Lord's hand is mercy. <laughs> Chastisement, whatever it is, may be like, you got to look at it all. It's being interchangeable with mercy. You got it, brother. I got a precept to hey, back up, back up what you said and back up what the elder bro said. This is a uh, Isaiah chapter one, verse nine, except Yahweh of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. We should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. So you break down that. You got it. Con, con. Hey, just going into what the brothers were saying back in that Ezra's chapter nine, we got less than what we actually deserve. You got to think about it. We were created to be the, the most highest representatives on the planet, to have all power and dominion. All we had to do was be faithful unto our power, but through successive generations, we constantly kept going off and getting worse and worse. And what did the and what did uh Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai tell Moses? I'm gonna destroy this entire nation and make a just make a new nation through you. But through through him listening to Moses' supplications, the most high had mercy on us. And throughout all our various captivities, and just our existence in general, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai always had mercy on us all the way up until this last captivity, leaving this very small remnant, which Abarat you sincere brothers, myself, and you sincere brothers and sisters on the comment board are a part of, as it says, we would have been as Sodom and as Gomorrah, just completely wasted, uninhabitable, non existent. I got one for you. Yeah. Yeah, just to, to back up what uh what the priest just said about uh how you know even slavery and oppression is mercy. Just the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 71. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. So we actually learn, you know, good and evil by being oppressed and seeing Esau, you know, rule the world in wickedness, we actually learn righteousness more. Because back in the garden, we didn't know right from wrong. We knew righteousness, but we didn't have a full understanding. We learn that here. It says, the law of thy mouth is better unto me than a thousand, than thousands of gold and silver. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I might learn thy commandments. And this is the point right here. It says, uh, verse 75, I know, O Yahweh, that thy judgments are right and that thou in faithfulness hath afflicted me. Lest let I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort according to thy word unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. So through the mercies of Yahweh, we learn 
the law and, and how righteous it is by seeing these, these heathen rule over us in wickedness. We, we have a, a greater appreciation for the commandments than any other generation the Israelites have ever had. Even going back to, you know, King Solomon, when we were in our, our glory. We didn't fully appreciate, you know, the righteousness because we hadn't seen th these Edomites, man. This is all mercy, even though it doesn't feel like it all the time, but it, it is. And Jake is going to know that in the kingdom. You got it. Right? I think if the Most High didn't didn't chastise us and put us into captivity, what would we be doing? Waxing worse and worse, worse and worse, worse and just destroy ourselves by ourselves. Kind. That, that, that's in the scriptures. Uh, what's the scripture? It speaks about how... Uh, he lets the heathen just stack up their iniquities because he doesn't love them. But he, uh, let me see if I can find it. It might be in uh, the Wisdom of Solomon. Con, con. So yeah, that's right, man. Like, hey, you know, through the mercy of the Lord, hey, man, we we all we are, man. We all. We, we, man, I'm about to say, hey, man, Lord, continue to have that mercy upon us. Hey, we going to be able to attain salvation, man. All right, that's what it's all about. All right. You find that precept? No, I'm still looking up. Oh, hey, um, are you going to bring out that Hosea 12, 10 and 12? Come. This Hosea, chapter 10, verse 12, it says, Sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is it is time to seek Yahweh till he come and rain righteousness upon you. The kind of man uh, I want to go into it where it says, hey, so you suffer in righteousness, you shall reap in mercy. All right. Hey, while hey, doing this grace period, while the Lord is having mercy upon us, hey, we're supposed to take advantage of it and doing and um doing his will. It's that is pleasing unto his sight. All right. And as, as we keep doing that, hey, the Lord will. Continue having that mercy upon us, man. For way, will we make mistakes or will we go off? All right, hey, that mercy is death. All right, because at least we try, you know, get right on this side. All right. Come, I got it. All right. I found it. You go ahead. Out. And the second Maccabees chapter six, and I'm gonna start at verse twelve. It says, "Now I beseech those that read this book that they be not discouraged for these calamities, but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction." But for a chastening of our nation, for it is a token of his great goodness when wicked doers are not suffered any long time before we're punished. So he says it's a it's a token of his great goodness that the heathen are able to do what they do and forward their wickedness. Why? For not as with other nations with whom the Lord patiently forbeareth to punish till they become to the fullness of their sins. So dealeth he with us, lest that being come to the height of sin afterwards he should take vengeance of us and so when you look at the judgment that esau is going to receive that could have been us when you look at what jake was doing you know when you read jeremiah when you read isaiah when you look at how wicked our people were if there was no no correction if he didn't say look i'm going to send these people into slavery and and teach them right if he didn't do that we would have the same judgment as edom we'd be our seed would just be eradicated he could the most High could just make another set of israelites even moses was like look Whoa, remember your, your covenant. He's like, man, I could I could just start Israel from you. I just kill these niggas, take Moses, and just start from scratch. But he did that through mercy. Verse 16. And therefore he never withdrew, he never withdrawed his mercy from us. And though he punished with adversity, yet doth he never forsake his people. Yeah. That's heavy, man. Yeah. That's heavy. Great to the point where duh. No need to bring it down. Mm -hmm. Then he catch him like you see, catch him in a height. He could like you could catch him in a height of his of their sins. Like after they, you know, they they at the chief part of their sins. Like and it's times where we got so uh you know caught up in our iniquities to the Lord repented. He repented that he even created us, man. So what he did, he destroyed us and be like, all right, start over. You know how many times he started Israel over? So with the sake of to save. The fact that I'm not going to destroy them all the way because of the promise. Like, stop. Quit playing with the Lord out here, man. I, I, I started them over. I kept resetting them so I wouldn't destroy them, man. Yeah. He, he, likened, he likened us onto a garden, and he's he's our husband. What do you do with a garden? You 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 prune, 
you know, you don't let it just go get too crazy to the point where it's just you got to burn the whole thing down. You know, you burn yeah. it here and there. You, you trim it. You trim the fat. You, you do away with the weeds. That's what he's been doing to Israel. It doesn't always feel like it's. It doesn't feel like love. The love we learn. We learn this world. Love is a good feeling. Being happy. Love sometimes is a, a foot in your backside, man, to get right. Hey, that's funny that you said. Hey, man, if we if we supposed to be that garden, you best believe when when the husband is plowing with that pickaxe or that or that plow, it doesn't feel good to the ground to rip that dirt apart and put in that, and, it's, and it's creating fresh dirt. It doesn't feel good when the tractor is, is mowing through it and doing certain things to 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 yield. Great, uh, great abundance of fruit, whatever, whatever you put in that. It don't, it don't feel good to the ground. But guess what? It has to happen. It's a process that has to happen in order to bring, to make a, a good yield. It's all about the ground, man. When you farm and shit, it's all about the yield and the ground and what you're bringing for it in hopes that it doesn't, it doesn't manure. Uh, what it is, it doesn't. Uh, it's a process um, where it can go bad. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue, but. It's a it's a process where it can actually have a bad yield, bad harvest. Yeah, like a bad harvest, a bad yield. So you all, it's all about the process, and we going through that process. And yes, it it feels long. It feels it feels like some sometimes it feels like it just it's taking longer than our time, but it's on the Lord's time. Yes, it hurts going through hell. It, it hurts, but fuck it. it. In order in order to know that we, in order to have the understanding of what's finna come. You, you, you. It's best that you go through the process, man. But go ahead. I, <sighs> I uh, brother, get a song. Good though, man. That was a good one. So, yeah, brother, get uh, Psalms 40, 11, and read through twelve. Psalms. I got it. Please go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 11. Withhold not thou thy tender mercies from me, O Yahweh. Let thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. That's right. Hey, um, as uh, King David speaking, he basically uh, was praying to the Lord to, uh, to not uh, withhold that, uh, that mercies upon him. All right. And in verse 12, and brother, go read the next verse to tell you why. Man, um, start up. Go up to like eight, huh? <laughs> Baba uh, Kashak, bro. God. I ain't no man. Go to eight. I right? start and come now, brother. God, God. Verse eight. Uh, Psalms 40, verse eight. I delight to do thy will, O my power. Yea, thy law is within my heart. Yeah, that's I, right. Yeah. I would say, hey, we are delighted to do the, thy will. I mean, hey, man, we we always want to eight. Hey, I'll rise up. We always. We hope we, we could uh, continue to do the will of Yahweh by Shemar Shai in, uh, in sincerity. All right. God, if I could just add real quick, even that's mercy, because you got a lot of people that hate the will of the Lord. The Lord didn't make everyone to serve him. We actually enjoy doing these lessons. We enjoy fellowshipping. We enjoy reading the scriptures. You got Jake that hate, they hate to read. They hate to be around brothers. They hate to, they hate the law. They hate the commandments. It's mercy order. just for us. Yeah, they hate order. Hey, and add to what you're saying, I, that's not the, it's a scripture. You don't have to get it, but it's a scripture. The Lord called them haters of the Most High. He called yeah. them haters of the haters. Most High. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's mercy just for us to delight in serving the Lord. The Lord didn't create everybody to love serving him. It says, and verse 9. And, and that's, hey, man, when you start to understand these scriptures, you understand the bigger scope of the Most High, the, the, the dynamic of how the Lord created people. All right? I made some to to dwell in my, to dwell in my love and my mercies and understanding of me, and I got some. I love variety. I got some people just here to destroy them, here to hate me. It's a balance, man. It's a balance. It, it, you know, you got Christians that want to fuss and fight. Well, why, why, why? You know, these niggas sound like Jetty Kiss, man. Why? I made that nigga made the song. Why? 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 why, yeah. why that? It's because the <laughs> Most High, who the fuck he is, man. It's because he wanted that. He wanted it that way. I got a, I got a, I got a people that I love dear to me, and then within that people, I have a people called the, the elect, the first fruits that I love most of all, man. All right. And then there's a people I just totally hate. I got people with he, the Lord got people of His own people He hate, man. He hate two third niggas, man. 
but he loved him at the same time too. And like I said, the Lord's gonna love him so much that he's gonna kill him and bring him back. That's mercy. And give him and give him abundance of a kingdom and get all the perks of the kingdom. That's that's love, that's mercy. Actually, the Lord killing them is mercy, man. We bring out time. You have a, we bring out time and time again. If you have a dog or some type of pet that you love and you care about, and that mother come down with rabies, man. He gets hit by a car, broken leg. He just he just looks like he's not gonna get well. What you do, man. You you take him out there and the, like they back in the day, back in the 40s, and you just take that motherfucker back, back out in the back of the field in the cornfield, and you just hit one shot. You put him out of his mercy. You put him. You put him out of his misery, man. Why let him suffer? So that's what the Lord's going to do with two thirds. But He's going to actually have the power to bring them back, all right, and set them up. You know. But go ahead, I go ahead. I like I said, he get yeah, um, he, he yeah. Back what you were saying, yeah. The back what you were saying, last <laughs> elder. It say um in Psalms, it say even though uh Dallas Dallas forgave us them, he took vengeance on upon them for their yeah. uh, their sins. All right, yeah. so it's like basically hey, the Lord, you know, yeah, hey, the Lord saying, hey, you know, you did some wicked, wicked shit. Hey, I had to kill you. We even now, we, we good. Can I bring it's even exchange? Yeah, you even say, good now. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm gonna, you gonna, I'm gonna penalize you based on this covenant that we made. You're gonna get the penance of that, of that covenant, but he also, he's gonna sign, they're gonna sign a new covenant where he's gonna set them. It, it, it is what it is, man. And like I said, having the full scope of the scripture, you understand. You understand. You start to understand everything. How the Most High. That's when you are tapped into your power. You understand the whole thing. You're not. You're not emotional about it, too, man. All right. We so much not emotional that we know that our own family members might die. Shit, we might. We yeah. We might go. And like I said, it's, it's just it is what it is, man. It is what it is, though. You know. Can I bring out one? Just one quick verse to back up. Back up what you said, I. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Right. This is Romans eleven and twenty-eight. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. Ooh. <laughs> hey, you can't get around that one, man. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. The most I actually made wicked niggas for our sake. They sharpen us. They they show us the way to not be. That's. That's way over Jake head, man. Jake don't even fathom that the most I could create wickedness for righteousness' sake. That's how cold he is. Yeah, with everything they had in order in order to grow, in order for your muscles to grow, it has to be weight. It's something. It's something called weight. A weight. Mm -hmm. And guess what it does? It brings it. It brings a resistance, the opposition to what you, you know. Gravity. It's back and forth. It's the same thing with the, the other side of the the wicked niggas. They 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 actually like the brush. They keep us sharp. They keep us in the, in the mind frame of always on point, man. So it has to happen. That's that's right? really well, the quickest way you learn the scriptures. You learn what these bug outs teach, how they pervert the doctrine. Then you learn the actual precepts that combat that. That's they, the most I bug them out for our sakes. Yeah. Hey, I, and not only that, but the, the most high still loves them because what? They're going to come back through the loins of his elect that they were made enemies for the gospel's sake for. <laughs> yeah, then I'm going to be your daddy, man. How, I'm, hey, the most high funny, you know? I'm going to be, brother's going to be your, them same men you came against going to be your pops, man, literally. Right. You know, you're going to come through some man loin somewhere, somehow, man. It'll be brought back in the kingdom. See, that's right. Hey, um, and like the uh, back up that brother Rai Priest up. Hey, it's also hey, it's also uh, it also shows us that hey, man, we should appreciate the yeah. Lord's mercies, the Lord's mercies that He have upon us to well like hey, we not wicked, oh hey, we able to do His righteous works, man. All right, cause hey, the Lord God uh, may us uh, make us haters of Him, easily, all right? easily. All right, so hey, we just gotta be we, we just gotta be grateful and thankful for the mercies of the Lord. Y'all yeah, by your mouth shut. All Shit right. in the world, in the world before we were woken up, we were haters of him. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This is back in Psalms 40, uh, verse 9. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Yahweh, thou knowest. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. 
I could bring something out real quick. I with that. You got that. Uh, read read ten again. I God, Psalms forty and ten. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Now this wrong is ten and ten. It says, "For with the heart man believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation." So the more we speak unto unto the mercy, all right, it goes right back to the righteousness that's in our hearts, man. That's why David said, I, did, I couldn't refrain my lips from speaking of your salvation, of the salvation to what? The great congregation, man. All right. That's why we talk about the Lord mercy, because with his mercy, there's salvation. And our mouth just got to confess it because our hearts, again, we believe unto righteousness, man. All right. This is the only outcome when you have a righteous mindset. It's the salvation. All right. Which is caused by mercy. It's carried out. But you got it out. Yeah. You got it out, my wife. He goes to read. Come. Verse 11. Withhold not thy tender mercies from me, O Yahweh. Let thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. Yeah, that's like I said. Like I said again, hey, King David was praying to the Lord hey, not to withhold that mercy upon him. And with we'll brother read down verse 12, you go. That's why he was. Hey King man, on this, on this side as a Jake man, we need to mercy the Lord. We gonna f up, bro. Jake gonna f up, man. <laughs> you know, and even in what's what's to come, what's to come with 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 uh, you know, Jacob's trouble. We gonna definitely need mercy, man. You know, brought it hopes to be brought in the eyes of the Lord's mercy and salvation, man. So that's something that we gotta you know continue to hope for. You know, go ahead, up. Yeah, hey, like um, so like bro, how y'all always see? Hey man, we. We bugged out, low key, man. So yo, we bugged out. So hey, man, we need uh the, the mercy for the Lord. Yeah, for the Lord. For the Lord, though, man. You can say what you want. You know, they, you know, many people say all type of things about the men of the Lord, or you know, even this this thing that had caught traction <clears throat> back in 07, this Hebrew thing. Yeah, we. Oh, y'all, y'all bugged out. Uh, y'all brainwashed. Yeah, for the Lord. Emphasize right. that. Let's show you put an address on that. All right, sign, seal, and delivered. That we bugged out for the Lord, all right? For Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Uh, We're brainwashed of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's what we bugged out for, man. Right. And, and, and it feel good to be, you know, whatever you want to call. We, we whatever you say we is, man. And some. <laughs> We're bums. We bugged out. We, we all that, man. Wow. Go ahead, I. <clears throat> you got to read verse 12. Okay. For innumerable evils have compassed me about, mine iniquities have taken hold upon me, so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of my head; therefore, my heart faileth me. That's right. Hey, this shows as a uh, King. That's King David explained. Was that's why uh, King David was praying to the Lord, and I would hold that mercies from him. As go for us today, because hey, man, in this wicked flesh, we in this uh, chains of darkness. Hey, we go off, man. All right. And certain mistakes we make, hey, we let sometimes they we let it wear us down. All right, but hey, we're supposed to be as that just man that's just saying that um like Proverbs where say a just man falls seven times, but get back up. All right. And uh to prove that you get uh, one brother to get uh, Psalms 94, verse 18. Psalms 94, verse 18. When I said, my foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Yahweh, held me up. That's right. Hey, man, dude. Like you say, you know, we fall, even though we make mistakes, it's due to the mercies of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Hey, we, we able to get back up, all right, and keep going, all right? And then we're saved. And then, hey, as much us as, you know, in this truth, hey, we're supposed to know when we fall. We're supposed to know when mistakes we made, we're supposed to make it right, all right? Like it's in uh, Sarah. Hey, a man of understanding on where he's slipping. All right. You know, we know what we need to do to get right. And we need to get right, man. All right. Yeah, I had a quick one to back you. Yeah, I got one too. Yeah, we just went, uh, we read in Psalms that uh, that King David was praying for, for mercy. This is, a, this is the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 34. And as concerning that, 
he raised him up from the dead, Yahushai, now no more to return to corruption. He said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. And that's ultimately what we are. We're the house of David. So you go into David's history. He was, you know, he, he committed uh, multiple sins, you know, adultery, even murder, you know. So he was forgiven of that. He was still king of Israel. He was still, you know, a man after the heart of the most high, but he had to be judged. And this is our judgment right now. This captivity, this oppression, this is the judgment for the nation of Israel. And we're going to receive what? The sure mercies of David. Because we're the house hey, of David. Because that was that, like you said, that was definitely mercy to the point those were sins unto, unto death he did, man. Yeah. That was sins unto death. So that you know that and we and it tell you it told you right there, we're gonna we're gonna get that. The same mercy that the Lord gave David, man. And that's that's powerful in itself. Because we the things that Israel have committed time and time again are sins under death. The Lord should have, like, like I'm a wise said, and like this brother Kabar said, and, and the script I brought out back in uh, Ezra, in the Bible, hey, the Lord the Lord deserved to wipe us out, man. You know? But he, it's the mercies in him. You know, it's the, the long suffering, the patience. I'm going to try to get that scripture too. Yeah. But go ahead, yeah. Right. yeah, right. Yeah, I appreciate it. Kind, kind. Yeah, just to back up what the elder bro was saying, we definitely need the mercy of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Because even when we don't want to go off, there's sometimes we just, <laughs> you just go off. Huh? They're just like, you, like, uh, like it says, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Sometimes, even me, I've been in some instances where I knew, now I'm not saying it's no straight wicked shit, just some, just some stuff where it's like, it was almost like a trance was on me to do this. Like my body just pulled me in that direction. And then afterwards I was like, man, it was <laughs> it's like, damn, dude, I couldn't control myself on it. <laughs> but, he, but even the apostle Paul uh, wrestled with these thoughts. This is Romans chapter seven. I'm gonna start at verse 21. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of the most high after the inward man, the spiritual man, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. They talking about they, that, that carnal man. You want to do right, but some, but being in these these chains of darkness, hey, there are going to be times where you, where you fall off. You, you It's almost like you just can't help yourself. Again, it's like a trance. But as the brother Kabar said, and as it says in Proverbs, though a righteous man falleth seven times, he getteth back up. It's what you do when these things happen. And also knowing that we have the mercy of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai on us. And Abarat Azad, it stays on us to the end. Verse 24, O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank the Most High through Yahweh Shai Hamashayak, our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of the Most High, but with the flesh, the law of sin. And what did Yahweh Shai come to do? Hey, he was our grace for us. He was our intermediary for us. When we could, when we went off, he would go to the Most High and and allow us to be forgiven through the Most High through His intercession for us. That that grace, that mercy. That's right. Uh, Brother Gail, Sirach seventeen, verse nineteen. Uh, read through uh, twenty-one. Yeah, gotcha. It's the rock, 17 and 19. It says, therefore, all the works, you say 19 and 17 or 17 and 19? Yes. Yeah. Like, no, yes, yeah, 17, 19. It says, therefore, all their works are as the sun before him and his eyes are continually upon their ways. None That's of right, them are yeah. right. So, yeah, um, yeah. And that brother say, "Hey, all, all that works are all as the sun before him, and his eyes are continuing upon that ways." All right, hey, the law is always watching and knowing everything that's going on, especially with us, because hey, we know this truth. All right, and us that know this truth, we're supposed to uh, live by the gospel that we preach. All right, you go ahead. None of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Lord. That's right, hey, what? sins that we committed in this life and our past lives are before the Lord, all right? And even with that, hey, the brother will reverse, even with that, you can see uh, reading up. 
I got I got two precepts. I got two precepts after this. Two precepts. Go ahead. But the Lord being gracious and knowing his workmanship, neither left nor forsook them, but spared them. Hey, like I say, even um, we go off, hey, the Lord is still having that mercy upon us, man. All right? Hey, um, because hey, now, hey, all you see is nothing but judgment in these times, man. Hey, we being spared daily. All right? Because, hey, like, um, like the brother Kayal, <clears throat> like the brother Kayal is making a point, hey, there's only one mistake we can make that could lead us cast away from his truth or into the spirit world. All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got it, Elder. Yeah, I got two quick precepts that came to my mind. Uh, this the first one. I just give you a rundown. This give you a basic rundown of the Most High, man. All right. This is a uh, second. This is a uh, Sirach two and eleven. It says, "For the Lord is full of mercy." Well, man, let me go up. No, I read. I read that wrong. Let me see something. I'm gonna go up to nine. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. This is Sirach two and nine. And it says, he, he that fear the Lord hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see and did ever any trust in the Lord and was uh, confounded or did any abide in his fear and was uh, forsaken. And it's all question marks, all right? It says, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? All right? And that's the point. For the Lord is full of compassion all right give me the rundown he's full of compassion and mercy long suffering and it's very pitiful and for and forgiving sins and saved in the time of affliction man so that's a that's a, a full-blown rundown on the most high man and the other one i had come to my mind was uh second peter's uh three and about nine it says the lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness, but it's long suffering to us work. Not not saving, not my bad, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come into repentance, man. You got yeah, it. They um even say that in um, the Acts that hey, the Lord could have destroyed, but hey, he gave us a chance to repent this. All right? To repent for our uh, mistakes. It always yeah, mistakes, hey. He give us a chance to, to make our stage and make it right. All right. Right. And I'm gonna say this too. That 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 uh that grace period, that 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 period of liberty that we have, that great like yeah, that grace period, that's all about mercy, man. That's all uh, all the representation of the mercies of the Lord, the long suffering of the Lord, man. But we know we are we have about this much this much this much left, man. Until the Lord calls the green light and say, "Hey, that's it." And he did it. He did it many times. What he told Israel, he told the world, "That's it." Now you're gonna feel my wrath. You're gonna feel my vengeance, man. And we and we very close, man. Anytime you got nations, a nation like Russia telling their telling their citizens that, "Hey, hey, you might well just get ready to die because we're going to World War Three. It's, it's you know, it's, hey. It, what what they say? Say I want to get it right too. I really want to get it right. What what that boy said, man? I'm trying to remember. You remember what he I said? Got, uh? Yeah, let me get that article. I got that on bookmark. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I got it right now. This was on the Russian state TV. This is what the TV host said. Russian state TV hosts discuss the possibility of war that expands outside of Ukraine on Tuesday. And Margarita Semyonian, journalist and head of RT, told viewers that a nuclear war would be okay because we're all going to die someday. <laughs> hey, man. That's that, that, that small glimpse, you know, getting it right. Because it's going to come a time where it's going to be it, man. All right? That just, like I said, and we have the hope. We have, we have, we have the, the grace. Uh, uh, right now, getting it right, man. In hopes of the mercy and salvation of Yahweh Shem Shai. So why why not wait? There's no time to wait, man. It's, it's about repenting, and getting the things right, man. All right, whatever that may be, you gotta get over the get over the hump. All right, get over that bush that you whatever you're doing, man. Go ahead. Uh. 
Yeah, hey, back you up, Bill. Hey, that's why uh, the, the brother Kayaya brought uh, that priest up in Hosea 10 and 12. So yourselves, we supposed to, hey, we'll be sowing ourselves in righteousness and we shall, hey, reap in mercy. All right? So, hey, we supposed to, hey, do what we got to do to please y'all by Shemal Shah. And hopefully, hey, do each other a couple of upcoming uh, judgments, we be exempt. All right? Have that mark. And uh, like, according to uh, Ezekiel 9 4, which we go to the word mark in Hebrew is uh, Thawa, meaning being exempt from judgment. All right. That's right. Uh, uh, brother, uh, yeah, Wisdom of Solomon, 11, verse 23. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon. Mm -hmm. 11 and 23. It says, but thou has mercy upon all. For thou canst do all things, and wink is at the sins of men, because they should have men. All right, that's right. Hey, the Lord, hey, we say, hey, if thou thou can do us all things, hey, the Lord could destroy us, man. For who we do sometimes, all right. But hey, the Lord, it say, hey, the Lord wink is at our sins, and He gives us a chance during this grace period, hey, to uh, repent, man, and get right, all right, daily. All right, uh, y'all probably got something. Kind of, just uh, real quick, it's Romans 9, uh, verse 18. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. So the most I could choose to have mercy on who he wants. He could choose to kill who he wants, bug out who he wants. Backing up what you just said. But um, verse, let's skip down to 21. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What if the Most High willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory? Oh, that's a good one. Hey, okay, you got to break it down. Yeah, so the nation of Israel we're, we're described as vessels of mercy. We're created to receive mercy. That's why when you go into uh, what Romans 8, it talks about how we're subject unto hope. We're, we're subject to sin and vanity so that we could hope for the kingdom. We could hope for righteousness. That's why we're wicked right now. That's why we're being oppressed so we could hope for the kingdom. Everything that's so-called bad on this side was created for our sake so we could hope in righteousness. The, the most high is just, he's cold, man. <laughs> you can't get around it. The Lord so merciful, so he made us hope in the mercy that he was going to give to us. That's mercy. Yeah. <laughs> the hope for mercy is mercy. Yeah. Right? Because it, it could be a part. It could have been a chance that the Lord gave us no hope, man. All right? He left us hopeless. So just to have hope and mercy is mercy. Yeah. This the is Psalms 33 and 22. Mm -hmm. Let thy mercy, O Lord, Yahweh, that's in all caps, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Mm. <laughs> Come right. on, man. You got it. You got it. Dad, like our hope, our hope relies in the mercy that the Lord is telling us hope in. It's like, okay, I'm giving you this, but you still got a hope in it. It's not the Lord hope plenteous like it's everlasting, but he like y'all still got to hope if, to see if y'all get it, man. That's mercy. Again, I could just bug you out not to hope for anything. Uh, would it say the wicked, the expectation of the it. wicked is only wrath? I'm holding it. <laughs> Come on, man. This, this, proverb, you got it. this proverb is 11 and 23. The desire of the righteous, which is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. And the word hope means expectation. So like the brother said, if you hoping in wrath, that you, the Lord already took his mercy from you. If you hoping in good, that's mercy in itself. If you hoping for mercy, you already received a level of mercy just to have hope in it. You got it right? Yeah, that. The Lord just <laughs> two and two against each other. Then yeah. he one and the same. The same. It's like, it's like we, his thoughts is so far out. Left field, man. Yeah. Right? The Lord is the Lord is giving us something in the same breath saying you gotta work for it. 
but I'm giving it to you. It's already yours. <laughs> it's already yours, but you're working for it. Stop. Come on. Come on, man. But that's it, brother. That's all I have. That's kind of a brother get a wisdom assignment 12, uh, re 18 through 19. I got one too. This wisdom of Solomon 12, verse 18. But thou, master in thy power, judges with equity, which is fairness, right. and orderest us with great favor. For thou mayest use power when thou wilt. Hey, what's going on yeah. here? Yeah, that's right. Hey, uh, you know, a hey, law is powerful. A hey, law, a hey, law can do everything he please, man. All right, but hey, the law is being fell and having that mercy upon us that hey, he gives a chance of repentance daily. All right, let me read down. Read. It says, But by such works has thou taught the people that the just man should be merciful. Yeah, and right. that's yeah, yeah, that's right. Hey, do the Lord being merciful, hey, that should uh, teach us how to be mercy, merciful as well. First and foremost, hey, uh, the brotherhood, like the brothers always go into, hey, you gotta be uh. Hey, if a brother do you want, you supposed to have mercy on that brother, all right? Because, hey, while they, the Lord, you going to have mercy on you, all right? And besides, hey, man, I always think about this, hey, man, what we did to the Lord is small than, hey, than anybody could did for did to us, man, all right? So why, hey, even with that, the Lord still have mercy upon us, hey, the sins we did, but we can't have a mercy on a brother that did, like, the smallest shit that he did to me, man, did to us, all right? And they for all that, hey, you gonna be on that type of saying, Lord could just destroy you right now. You gonna be uh -huh. on that type of time. All right, so hey, 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 you gonna say something? Up? So, I'll, I'll go after you. So, hey, like I say, that's why I say, hey, that Lord having mercy upon us to teach us to have that mercy as well, that same mercy as well. All right, hey, cause this, yeah. cause this scripture here is gonna be applied. Uh, let me get it. This scripture right here is gonna be applied in that day, man. Oh, uh, well, man. Yeah, go. This is James 2 and 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that has showed no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. Yeah. If you ain't show no mercy amongst your brother, all right, no mercy is going to be shown to you, man. Yeah, you got it out. Yeah, that's right. Hey. Like, like I said, hey, man, just like move the emotions and think spiritually. Like, like I said, hey. Man, what we did to the law is way worse than anybody did to us, man. So it's, it should be easy to have mercy on, like, a brother or anybody, really. All right? Just like, hey, our Lord having that great mercy upon us, man. All right? Well, you uh, continue reading that wisdom of Solomon. Okay. Come on. Even to, to show you how great the Lord mercy is, the Lord said that, uh, remember we did the video, uh, Cabal? In the 57 and 1, where he say merciful men are taken away from the evil to come. Right. Well, how men can be merciful, though yet they're hoping on the Lord's mercy. All right? But though yet they're merciful. He like, hey, the merciful men are taken away from the evil to come, man. So how much more should those men practice in the what? In the in the in the in the uh the, the way that the Lord spared them, all right? They should be what? More than grateful, man. For the hope of it. Because you can only be merciful if the Lord bestowed his mercy upon you. That's the only way. We can't just outright just go be merciful, man. All right? The Lord got to have favor on you and then grant his mercy upon you. Then you can be merciful. All right? You can't just go, mercy ain't, ain't at a uh, family dollar, man. All right? You can't just get mercy from anywhere. Okay? The Lord got to. Have mercy on you that it may be displayed through you. Come on, man. It says, What by such works has thou taught thy people that the just man should be merciful and has made thy children to be of a hey. good hope that thou give it repentance for sins? Hey, I wanted to bring something out that you uh, just said. I'm going to preach up for that. This, this is what you learn in that though. This is uh Galatians 3 and 24. It says, Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us up, to bring us unto Hamashiach, that we might be justified by faith. So the only way you learn mercy is, is being in the tutorship of these scriptures, man. Being in the tutorship 
of like-minded men, like-minded righteous men to learn mercy. After you be under the tutorship, it goes on to say, Galatians 3 and 25, but after that fate has come, you believe we are no more under a schoolmaster. Because why? The same things you learn, you start to actually push it out, man. For us having mercy, having uh, loving kindness towards a brother, man. Long-suffering patience with a brother. You start to actually do it, man. But you have to be under the tutorship first. You have to be un not not uh, actually uh, like bucking up to the word or bucking up to like-minded men that are, that are in in order or in the leadership. You have to you have to basically break yourself down, tear yourself down, and then that's why the scripture tell you in uh, what that is, Ecclesiastes five, man. You have to you got to shut up, be quiet, listen, soak up things, and then after you start to get it. You start to do the things and mimic the things that you hear and you you hear and see from the men that's a, the, that above you, man. And then and then it, it all starts to make sense, man. Then you start to teach other men to do that. Hey, hey, brother, can't go at that brother like that. All right, you gotta have mercy on the brother. The brother, the brother needs time. He don't he don't know better. He don't know no better. You know? And that's how you that's how you 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 govern the church, man. Through mercy, patience, all right, long suffering. All those things, but the, the harp on that point, one has to be under the under the, the schoolmaster, man, which is the law, statute, commandments, which is under the which, which is under the, the actual within the body, man. You that's how you learn those things, man. But go ahead, I, I ain't want to be long with it. <clears throat> it makes sense. I'm asking you, it makes sense to your brother, though. Uh, yeah. Uh. So yeah, he friends right now, Kaya. And one more thing, because if, if you if you a guy that comes off the street, you're gonna be what thinking like the streets. You're gonna think like in your neighborhoods, and you you don't think how grandmama, auntie, because a lot of us been raised by our mama, so you're gonna think that way. So them same habits and those same things that that the fathers and make us you know messed up people, you're gonna bring it in here. You're not gonna trust brothers. You're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna buck up against order. You're gonna be emotional. All right, you're not gonna be uh merciful to brought towards brothers. This is gonna be this is gonna be that same nigga in the world, man. But when you when you actually um when you when you, when you make yourself you put yourself in subjection to the word, you submissive to it, man. And you start to actually learn the right way. That's all it's about, learning the right way how to do things, man. How to do, conduct yourself, having the right, uh, like I always say, the right anastrophe, the right behavior. And, 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 and it's, the rest is history. Go ahead, Doc. So you got it, y'all. It says, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 21, with how great circumspection did his thou judge thine own sons unto whose fathers thou hast sworn and made covenants of good promises. Therefore, whereas thou doest chasten us, thou scourges our enemies a thousand times more to the intent that when we judge, we should carefully think of thy goodness and we, and when we ourselves are judged, we should look for mercy. To God, uh, to hey. While we being chastised, hey man, we deserve death. And then day, so hey man, we supposed to hey, be thankful that hey, for the mercy of Yahweh by Shimon Shah. He continue to look for that mercy of Yahweh by Shimon Shah, right? Because without it, hey, we done. All right. You know, okay, brother, get a song of Solomon, song no song of the three holy children, uh, start at verse eighteen to nineteen. What'd you say, I? Yeah, uh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, so uh, verse 18. Yeah, verse 18. Okay. All right. Psalms of the Three Holy Children, verse 18. And now we follow thee with all our heart. We fear thee and seek thy face. 
put us uh, yeah so you read down you can read okay put us not to shame but deal with us after thy loving kindness and according to the multitude of thy mercies that's right hey while hey while we uh repent and uh we in this truth hey, fighting to obtain salvation and hey, we pray to the lord daily day hey, he cast not cast cast us not away from his holy spirit the way hey, we be uh shame facing the kingdom man all right but hey we continue hey lord when hey, we he could uh, continue have that mercy upon us hey we could, uh to stay in this thing all right being this good gracious to the end all right yeah, read, down to I, read down in 22 read down in 22 there's some, there's some good right. stuff in there all right come on verse 20 deliver us also according to thy marvelous works and give glory to thy name O yahweh and let all them that do thy servants hurt be ashamed yeah that's right hey um we say hey, deliver us also according to thy marvelous works and give glory to thy name all right oh lord it say oh lord let them that do thy service hurt be ashamed say hey, uh hey let uh it will say hey, let thy service be ashamed me hey long so like it means it will say hey, let them that do thy service hurt be ashamed because hey hey uh y'all shy say uh her not my little ones all right uh better be a great millstone hit you than hey to mess with the the service of y'all by yeah. my with the hopefully hey, neck. He, he talking about better better than a millstone be hung about about that neck. Yeah. About offending one of the little ones, man. Cause a, a great a, a great payback is coming to those who offended and who have done the, the men of the Lord wrong, man. That's and that's what it's saying. You know, that's where you're gonna be ashamed at. That's where that's when uh wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter gonna come into play, man. The same ones that are gonna be moaning and groaning. And saying that is this man is this man counted amongst the saints? You know, we we have looked at his life as being nothing. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. Yeah, go down to twenty two. I'll read down to twenty two. There's some there's some good stuff in there. Okay. <clears throat> and let them be confounded in all the power and might, and let their strength be broken, and Ooh. let them know, <laughs> and let them know that thou art the Most High, the only power and glorious over the whole world. Yeah, the only guy. And he said that they, they may know that you are the only power, and the world's gonna find out that that there's the only one power, all right. And his son Yahweh Shai is the only one power. His name is Yahweh, and his son name is Yahweh Shai, man. All right, it, it ain't gonna be no, it ain't gonna be uh, Buddha, Krishna, uh, all these other different gods and deities that you people worship, man. All right. All you, all you Kemet niggas gonna get hurt. All right. All you, uh, you Islam niggas gonna get hurt. All right. <clears throat> all you hip hop culture niggas gonna get brutally hurt, man. You gonna, you gonna find out the hard way, man. That there's only one power. All right. But the most, the most high thing, the, the most high thing to blow, blow the, the, uh, the blow fire through this place man from coast to coast to sea to sea all right and we're gonna see man if all those gods and different deities and different things that you pray to if they're gonna be left standing because they're not and then they're gonna be left standing over here on the shores of america man all right when the lord when the lord allows his his blessed son to come with the angels all right you're gonna find out what the meaning of having uh not having mercy means man you no, know, you gonna find out the hard way. But go ahead. Uh, we had we had an hour, and eight minutes too. Yeah, to that's know. all I got. If if, if any of y'all brothers got something else, that's all I have. All right. Well, that's it. Yeah. Huh. All right. Hey, with that, hey, like hey, all the truth we brought out. Hey, we should uh, appreciate the Lord's mercies, man. And while we showing our appreciation, hey, we keep on hey doing the will, doing His will. Which is please unto his sight. All right. And with that, before we end this video, we want to give our praises to Yahweh. And demands to the apostle Elsa GMS and peace and blessings and mercies to the whole free elect that's doing the will of Yahweh by Shimon Shah in faith, fear, and sincerity. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.